What is going on people? We're here with another ADL game. A quick, before you continue watching the video, let me go ahead and know what, hmm, what's a good question? What's your favorite soft drink? Like Pepsi or like whatever, what's your favorite one? Me personally, I'm a Diet Coke kind of guy, but if I'm not going for diet, I'm a root beer guy, I am. But yeah, that's all I got time for. That's actually not all I got time for today. I'm on autopilot right now because I'm so tired. But we're here. I explained everything why we're so late in the last video. Uh, but it really does not matter. We're going to be going over week three versus silver. Uh, not silver. I'm just going to call him silver because I it's intentionally like making me mess up. But this is the matchup. You can see right away. Uh, pretty tough. This is going to sound pretty cringe to say. But we can't really break Giratina. Um mainly because our main breaker palafin doesn't get the job done which sounds pretty silly to say as palafin is that guy however palafin really can't break down the opponent's team too well i don't really remember prep for this game uh i was extremely busy i think i did some prep on my phone like it was not a good week to prep at all so i actually don't remember anything about this matchup but looking at it again uh, it doesn't look that great for our hero. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look great for me. This, this is kind of a tough matchup on paper. I think we talked about that. Yeah, I don't even totally remember what I bring. I made the slides. Uh, let's just go ahead and look at that instead and see what we can infer from previous me's decisions. Uh, okay. Wait, what was I cooking? What is that for? Oh, Quackable. Okay, 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 and Gambit. Okay, Quackable and King Gambit. So this is here to beat Quackable and King Gambit. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, pretty solid. Body press, liquidation rest, yawn, leftovers. Okay, that makes sense. Match checks out. Yep, that's pretty bad. Quackable, and I think Quackable had a game where it completely steamrolled the opponent. So I think I was quite wary of that. I think this also assists us with potential Diancy, and I believe his Arceus is bug, uh, which doesn't really help, but it's whatever. I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, next is going to be... Uh, okay, this is for Sandy Shocks. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is Sandy Shocks. It's for Glare. It has Glare series. Uh, I don't understand what I'm doing here, actually. I'm not sure what this does. I can't lie to you. What are we doing here? I guess it beats. Okay, well, Glare is always nice, right? I guess it beats King Gambit and Sandy Shocks, I guess. All right. Checks out. Third bring. Grassy Glide, Drain Punch, Knock Off, U-Turn. Uh, I think this is to grab momentum. That's what my heart tells me. My heart tells me this grabs momentum. I'm not sure what the play was bringing this into Garantina, Weezing, and Arceus Bug. I think this is kind of an L bring. I don't remember what I was thinking. Okay, no, no, it's good for dancing. Okay, that makes sense. Not sure why we're left over is not protected pads with the Moltres in the back. It also has a ball. Okay, okay. Um, next is Pal. I remember this set Palafid with uh, Band because it can 2 a KO. Garantino with Ice Punch if I get the read right. I think that's all it does though. Flip turn Jet Punch. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, this is a lead to get up Spikes because Spikes is good with Palafin. Right? This anti leads Diancy. Let's be set up on it because it always needs to respect at least sturdy or Aqua with Heavy Slam. I remember this set. Okay, this set, Calm Mind. I thought about having Calm Mind recover. I mean, excuse me, Draco Flash Cannon, Calm Mind. What a weird set. How come I didn't bring Absol? So weird. What the heck? Anyway. Uh, that's certainly strange. Let's go ahead and jump into the battle and see what I was cooking. I don't really remember this battle too well. 
I lead fortress. That's fine. Fortress against ANC. I get spikes here. It's just pretty free. Flamethrower comes from Weezing. It procs my Akaberry, which is annoying. I put rocks up over spike. Because... Arceus bug. I bring in this guy. I just switch it out. I take a million percent. I don't need to. But I just get it so that I can have the zero to hero boost. I don't have... Rec I remember this. I don't have um, removal. So I combine with my Arceus right here. It reveals Taunt Weezing, uh, which is okay. Sandy Shocks comes in here. I Draco it, and it does nothing. And so I'm like, what? I Draco again because it kills. But now I'm at minus 1 million, and this guy comes in. And this guy can just combine back, right? I think we combine together for a little bit. I'm trying to remember what happens. We combine together for a little bit. I go Dozo because it stacks so many combines. It's kind of scary. I think I just yawn it. Okay, T bolts me, which is annoying, but I, remember, there's no Quaker Bolt or King Gambit, so Dozo is considerably less good. I make this go to bed. I go to Zygarde and the Thunderbolt, potentially, or I get Judgment and it died here. I get Judgment and it died, but that's okay because Shandy Shocks is gone. I go Palafin and Ice Punch here on the Giratina coming in. Sick play by me. I think I have to respect Weezing and get out of there now, but I don't really have anything to go out into. I think I just go into Arceus here. Double into Arceus, please. No, I Ice Punch again. Okay, well, now I'm just taking unnecessary chip, and I can't break Papalif or I can't make Gratina anymore after that. Yeah, the game's over. Because <laughs> I can't break anything anymore. Yeah, I lose this one 4 0, I think. Kind of a bummer thing. I think I'm just going to put the this. has got a, such a depressing game, actually. We've got trolled and thrashed here. <laughs> Which I think puts us at... Yeah, what an L game. We can't really break anything anymore. Palafin gone means we can't break. I think I could have won this game if I either prepped better or played better here. Uh, oh, I can let it heal up. What the heck? Uh, it's Toxic Spike plus Hex. I think this is Specs Gratina, if I remember correctly. Which is what I thought would come. Yeah, we used to lose this game to horse, right? Yeah. Dang, that's depressing. Well, instead, you know what we're going to do? Because that was such a sad game. Is we're going to go to the next one and combine this these two videos. So, this game was actually played today. So, it's today. So, it's relatively fresh in my my mind space. And so, uh, let's go ahead and look at the matchup. So, uh, Chan Pao, Xerdius, both very scary Pokemon that I don't really enjoy playing against. Superior can stockpile pretty easily, which is annoying. Uh, dude, my brain is like moving at 0% right now. I think... Okay, I have a hard time breaking Xerneas, right? Xerneas is pretty hard to break. However, it is pretty slow. It gets a, so with the Palafin, which is really nice. Palafin is very good here. Um, the only things it's slower than is Chan Pao and superior after rocks chin pow it doesn't matter because it will die to jet punch and superior can get completely hard walled by uh corvinite so corvinite was immediately going to come just because i do not want that guy to stockpile too much the superior to stockpile and it's useful for palafin to take some pressure off of its plate um call my xerneas is a problem however I have a lot of guys that are faster can hit it pretty hard Arceus is also pretty good in this game after we can get rid of that uh, slow king getting rid of slow king is pretty big also he does have a water absorb user the water absorb he has a lot of momentum so he has two volt switch mods which can earn him a lot of momentum in the iron treads and the uh, lantern both of which can reasonably come lantern can go ahead and stop palafin from wave crashing with the water absorb and then uh iron trez is pretty solid to potentially stop uh the or to, to, to potentially break scream tail it has ice spinner for zygarde it has earthquake for rcs he could be shook a berry so definitely some value there he also has good u-turn bonds Chen Pao is pretty scary. However, we have some good Chen Pao answers. For example, we have uh, Don Dozo. We have Mach Punch. We have Grassy Glide. We're pretty solid against it. Um, 
So we actually didn't think I was building with Sylvis for a bit. We didn't think that the champ how would come, which is pretty interesting. But I, I thought deep in my heart that it could ring. It could come just because it's so strong. After an SD life form, it pretty much beats its counters. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's go ahead and look at the team we brought. First thing I remember putting down was originally Nasty Plot, Vacuum, Wave, Infernape. Right? Yes, I think that's what I put down initially. But then right before the battle, I had a change of heart. But we're not going to talk about that yet. First, we have Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Flip Turn, Close Combat, Choice Bandit, Palafin. This goes absolutely crazy against my opponent. Super useful against the Xerneas. Even better if uh, there is no... What is that guy called? Lantern. However, Lantern does get folded by a close combat. Where plus speed nature, just in case he is timid, uh, Xerneas. Always kind of a scary thing to deal with on the field. But yeah, Palafin, very simple. Same kind of idea is that it just breaks things. Hits hard. Yeah, and then this. So I had to change heart like two minutes before the battle. I decided just to run Bandit, Gunshot, Mach Punch, to a close combat because I didn't see a reason why he wouldn't just lead Xerneas, and I really wanted an anti-lead to that. And so I made this change literally last minute. All the mocks I did with Sylvis, we had, I had the Nasty Plus set, and then I decided just to switch up last minute. Uh, max speed is for the great or the treads for Iron Treads and below. And then, you know, Choice Band, Gunk Shot, Mach Punch, Choice Guy, pretty, pretty simple. Next is this guy. This guy is so that we do not lose who's stockpiling. Choice Scarf or Choice Specs, um, Superior, it always, it always gives us momentum back on our side. It can Brave Bird and 1v1 in the late game. It's also pretty useful against uh, Xerneas. I mean, Xerneas can run Thunder or Thunderbolt, but it will give us at least uh, a way not to die so we can U-turn out and get out of there which is pretty nice but otherwise very simple i don't really think he has too much too good of a rock setting team his team can't really set rocks too well if i remember correctly and so yeah pretty solid uh next is rcs pretty much the same function it did in week two uh judgment or spear stealth rock recover it has enough natural bulk that it'll live pretty much any one chin pow attack so we don't need to switch out from chin pow uh and we can just go ahead and kill it back with or spear i was running ice beam in all the mocks up until right before the battle but because i changed i originally had don dozo on my team but because i took off don dozo in favor of something else i decided to put or spear on this over ice beam because i thought it was just better overall judgment or spear stealth power cover pretty simple uh rocks are always good against my opponent's team Especially with Chen Pao. If Chen Pao is boots, that's okay because it's not banned or life or SD. And if it is not boots, then it gets 25% taken on ship every single time it switches in. So, pretty solid. This is pretty cool. So, it's max physically defense, booster energy, defense booster energy, calm mind. Uh, if we get a calm mind up on the switch or something, this pretty much will win the game. Designated Sword Power Wish is like super good against him. The only thing we're potentially worried about is superior but if superior is chipped down to like i think 70 percent after one calm mind uh stored power will just sweep it and uh assuming he's not boosted up with leaf storms he can't do that much back so a potential really good late game and also if we do get one calm mind before the xerneas we will be able to beat it 1v1 which is pretty funny and then the last thing i took off the dondoza for this was zyger because he had so many bull switch options with the not so many, but he had two really good bull switch options with the Iron Treads and the Lantern. And that in the box, it was kind of making it hard for me to get on the front foot. And once I'm on the front foot with Palafin and Inferno both banded, it's hard to get it's hard to get it back. It's hard to get it back. And I really wanted to keep that pressure up. So I opted for this. So he didn't have the initiative with no ground type on my team. It really let him bull switch around for free and get in a good position. And it's not really ideal with Chen Pao around. So I decided to go ahead and just run this as a anti volt switch type of deal. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So hopping into the battle, uh, you can see that he did not bring his volt switch guys. And he did bring the Chen Pao, which means our team is automatically a little worse. But it's not all that bad. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it does mean that we have to play a little bit more critically uh, with what's going on. Uh, lead matchup. What am I cooking? What are we cooking? 
What is he cooking? That's the question. So my op here uh, has a few options for lead matchup. Leading Chen Pao against me is pretty ballsy, but also pretty solid. I think because of that, I was expecting the Xerneas lead, because Xerneas Moonblast Thunderbolt is really good against me. Especially off the rip. So I think I lead, in, I lead well, I definitely lead Infernape uh, on the Xerneas. And I go ahead and just click Choice Bandit Gunk Shot right away, and it brings it down to 12% on the Combine. So we have a Combine right away. Crazy play by my opponent. He doesn't switch out here, and it's Gunk Shot again. And take out the Xerneas on turn two, which is pretty base. Now I don't have to deal with that all the rest of the game. Slow King comes in here, uh, and I'm obviously locked into Choice Bands. I don't really have too much of an option. I don't want to give it, like, I think it's just going to Futures right here. So I go ahead and go into Zygarde. Zygarde's not as important anymore because it's not stopping anything from bolt switching around. Dude, I'm, like, recording games where the game is fresh in my mind is crazy because I, like, remember what's happening. It reveals Nasty Thought, which is crazy. So I go ahead and Thunder, or Thousand Arrows. It reveals Shuka, so it does nothing. He Ice Beams. I reveal Yachi, so it does, well, it does not do nothing, but it doesn't kill me. Aeos comes out again, and now Stoking's at 4%, which is great. It can no longer wall anything on my team, not even the Scream Tail. All Might comes in here because there's no Water Absorb guy. I can just go ahead and flip turn out into Corvin right here on the Superior, which means I am now in the front seat. I have all the momentum in the game. He glares me here, and I think I just U-turn. I don't. I get paralyzed, but there's nothing stopping me from U-turn. If it subs here, it's fine. If not, whatever. I mult. I U-turn here into Moltres. I believe I just go into RCS because RCS again cannot be stopped anymore. There's no risk of bolts absorb or anything like that. So now Tesla's in a pretty good spot just to start clicking buttons. I go ahead and take out the Slow King. It brings in the Chin Pow, which is okay. Again, I live any one attack. And I go ahead and fire off an Aura Sphere and kill the Chan Pout back, which is great. Arceus is now does more than his job. It's now still good for the Moltres, but, you know, whatever. I go ahead straight into Corbin here because I don't want to let it stack too many Leaf Storms. Even though it only does 7%, eventually it will be doing like 30, 40, and we are paralyzed. I don't want to fool around with that too much. It leashes here, which is okay. I go ahead and Brave Bird. And now that it's revealed lead straight, it's pretty much always going to be substitute last move. So I go ahead and I start uh, U-turning, I believe. No, I Brave Bird, and now I start U-turning. It cannot set a substitute here, so I think... Oh, no, it can. So I think a U-turn now. Sub, U-turn. Great. Great play by me. Uh, now I just go Palafin. And again, for the third time this season, Palafin is kind of unstoppable. Jet Punch is going to go ahead and sweep the entire team. So... But all three of my wins have been from Palafin 8 games. Late games. And, uh, yeah. So I think that makes us... Uh... Three and one. Yeah, three and one. And Palafin is, in fact, the kill leader. If we go ahead and look at the... Uh... Oh, shucks. You guys might not be able to see it, actually. Oh, no. You can see it. Palafin is... Oh, my game hasn't updated. But Palafin is going to be the kill leader again. So, pretty sick. Uh, but, yeah. That's going to be all the time I have for today. Goodbye. God bless and have a great day.